everyone, it's Katie with the Lovely Life blog and today I'm going to show you how to make tension rod curtains. Um, the reason I'm doing tension rod curtains is that I'm putting them in this window and it's a window in our main dining room. So our apartment gets tons of sun and we love that but there are times when I wish that I could cover this up um, such as when we're watching TV during the day because it'll glare on the TV or more importantly when we're entertaining um, because our view is of a train yard and so that is not the you know most glamorous view and so sometimes I do wish that I could just cover that up because the apartment's so beautiful and then you look outside and you're looking at like freight trains and it's just not glamorous so we're gonna try to cover it up but we're using these tension rods because I can literally pop them in and out of the window as much as I want it doesn't leave any marks on my walls or in the window so it's you know no muss, no fuss. If I want the blinds, I can pop them in. If I want them out, I can take them off and it's, I don't even need a screwdriver. It's just really easy. So this is where we're putting them. I have two squares of fabric that look like this. And the reason they're so large is that I'm going to like scrunch it up. So I needed extra fabric. So my window is about 45 inches wide and each square is 44 inches wide to give you an idea. Um, and so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to sew up the two seams on the bottom. As you can see, I've already pinned them and I left about an inch. You need about an inch to be able to slip these rods into the, um, this is where you're going to slip the rods. So you need about an inch clearance, even though the rods really only maybe a quarter of an inch wide, the tips are bigger. So you need to be able to slide this through. So that's what we're going to do first. We already pinned it up. I'm going to go ahead and sew this. Um, and if you have a fabric that you're worried about fraying, you can also sew like a little 5 inch, inch um, border down the two sides. If you don't think it'll fray, you probably won't even see these sides when we're done, so you don't need to sew them. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. So we just put one panel on, and I just finished sewing my second panel. This is the great thing about this project. It really doesn't take any time at all. Now I just have to string my second panels onto my rods. Um, we already measured the rods to um, match the size of the window, and these work just like shower curtain rods, so you literally just unscrew it until it hits the right um, length. So you're just going to push them on like this, and then you push the bottom one like this, and it really is like, you can get this project done in under an hour which I think is really great. And it solves all of our problems with the window. Okay, so now that they're both on, we're gonna just try to pop these into the window. Just make sure everything is good. Okay, so first I'll pop in the top rod. And like I said, we already measured it, so it's a lot easier for me to pop this in now. Um, but if you, when you go to get these done, make sure you measure them before you string them on to make it easier for yourself. Oh, that got caught. Okay, and then you just pop the bottom one in. It really is just like a shower curtain rod. It's so convenient. And it covers it completely, so you don't see any of the whites. Now I'm going to make some ties. To finish this off, all we did is we took some ribbon and we knotted it and made it look like a bow. Um, there are so many ways you could finish this. You could use tassels or rope. I mean, pretty much whatever fits your style, you can find and use. You could use more fabric. Um, but we just went with the bows because it was simple and quick and, you know, it looked nice. But this is the finished thing. Um, the only other issue that we came up with was the, the fabric is heavy because it's velvet. So the tension rod was, um, it was kind of, it kept falling because it was so heavy. So we did stick a nail right here just to support that top part. Um, but it won't interfere. It's still going to be easy to pop in and out. It just is like a little extra support for that top tension rod. Um, but other than that, this is it, and I think they turned out super cute. <laughs> I'm kind of in love with these curtains, and it, they're perfect for what we need. So if you decide to make this project, or if you have other window treatment projects, send us the video or the photos. I'd love to see them, um, and you can link to them in the comments. Other than that, uh, thanks for doing this little tutorial with me, and can't wait to see all your curtains. <laughs>